Hey, what's going on guys? Dopesunner930 here with another uh, tutorial for the Titan 1. This is going to be all about the G-Tuner software for the Titan 1. I'm going to show you guys how to download it, install it, and then basically take you through the software and have a first look at it. Uh, basically, I'll link you guys to this page where you, uh, you know, Console Tuner's website where they have the G-Tuner Pro software, and you're just going to go ahead and download it and install it like you normally would. I did show this in my last video, but because this video is dedicated 100% to the software, I figured I would basically go over it one more time for those of you that are just tuning into this video. Again, all you do is download it. Um, you don't need any kind of licensing or anything like that. It is uh, basically, you know, freeware. Um, so you just download it and install it like, you know, you normally would. So the software has a couple different tabs. Uh, basically, you have the GTuner library, which is a bunch of scripts that have been created by other people for various games and types of games. Some of them are like universal for first person shooters and stuff like that. Um, and you can just download these and load these directly to your uh, Titan 1. Um, it's got a bunch of different memory banks built in, so you can download them and basically copy them over, uh, which makes it really convenient and nice for, again, those of you that don't know how to uh, code your own scripts. Or there's also a uh, visual scripting part of the software which I'll show you guys in a minute but if for those of you that don't want to mess with that um, there is a pretty good sized library of pre-done scripts which makes it again really convenient um, again once you once you plug in your uh, Titan 1 it should pop up under the game packs as you can see here now that it's plugged in it popped up a list of different game packs But basically, there's a bunch of different categories under the uh, library, so that way you can search, you know, for different consoles or different, um, you know, genres of of gaming, whether it's a first-person shooter or an RPG or you know, a um, I don't know, like a, a fighter-style game, um, you know. And again, there's tons of different ones. They have ratings, so you can see, you know, which ones people like, which ones people don't like. Um, there's also descriptions for each one, which makes it nice. That way, you can. You know, read read a little bit about what the game pack does and what it's designed for before personally downloading it yourself. And for a lot of them, actually, if you click on them, it will uh, show you even more information about them. It'll pop up in a different window. Um, like you can see here, this shows you basically all of the uh, code and script and a little bit of information about that game pack. It'll actually open it in the compiler that's built into the software. But again, you don't have to mess with the coding or the software at all. That's only if you want to edit, uh, you know, a pre-existing game pack. Then you have a visual compiler. For those of you that don't actually want to hard code, um, this basically allows you to create your own uh, kind of like game packs by using this visual interface, which is definitely easier for those of you, again, who are beginning and don't really know too much about this, uh, like, you know, programming your own GPCs. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's, I'm sure it's going to be a little bit more limited, but there's a ton of different options. So I mean, you can do a lot of stuff. They have a lot of preset things on here, as you can see, like a rapid fire. And I mean, a, a, it's a ton of different options. I basically just show you here, I'm messing around with it. I'm not really creating anything, but all you do is drag and drop and they fit together like puzzle, piece, uh, puzzle pieces. Then you have the actual compiler. This is where if you actually know how to code, you can code your own. Um, this is definitely going to be for a selective and advanced users. I'd say your average end user um, isn't going to know how to program the scripts themselves. I personally don't know how to. Uh, I'd like to know because that way, again, you can cater it and customize it to your exact liking um, for different speeds and different uh, you know, different button combinations and things like that. And then this is just your kind of like programmer, the main interface. This is where you can take the scripts you've created or um, you know basically coded yourself or the pre-done ones and uh, choose them and basically copy them over to a memory bank um, there's nine different options for memory banks on this device so you can store up to a, a lot of different things for you know different games or depending on what it is you want to do exactly also by clicking on them as you can see here some of them will have a little bit of information on them so you can actually see all the different game pack operations 
and um, different configurations that the game pack will allow you to do again depending on which game pack they might not all have all these different options but these are like really professional um, professionally done ones that have documentation which is awesome again for those of you that don't really know too much and you know don't want to have to do it all on your own it basically shows you everything that you can do with these different game packs which is just crazy awesome i mean anything from rapid fire to steady aim to i mean all, all sorts of different um, different things basically so basically once you selected one and you put it to the memory bank you click uh, program or, or send to the device and it'll instantly pretty much do it like as you saw there it takes a split second and it's written that game pack to the memory bank it's crazy fast and it's I mean it's really awesome the interface is not complicated at all if it seems tedious and complicated it really isn't again there's a lot of things that this software can do but if you want to keep it simple then again just go with the pre-made um, game packs and as you see here this is basically one of the scripts that I wrote I mean it's not really gonna do anything because I didn't write anything but it selected it and now I've got one pre-done one under game pack one and another one under game pack two Anyways guys, that's all for this video. I hope this helped you learn a little bit more about how to use your Titan 1 and take a little look at the software. Again, links will be in the description to where you can download the software and also where you can purchase a Titan 1 for yourself. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more great videos. I'm out guys. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I'll see you guys next time.